Hey guys, so I'm actually excited. I just got my mail. I'm also a bit angry and I think I should rent first because so I I've been wanting for at least over a year since I found out a year or a year and a half, two, I don't know. Wanting to order from Lev Haolan, but I am broke and even this month was really hard to be able to order and uh, so I've been waiting for my package and it got stuck in customs and um, what they did essentially was uh, I had to ask the amazing people at Lev Haolam who just sent me an invoice so that I could get it out of customs and they sent me an invoice and the invoice had the value of the pack and then that donation separately but um, customs at first said I didn't have to pay anything and they sent the pack and now um, I get the mailman that says that I have to pay 32 euros because they actually taxed me on the donation too so any amount of money exchanged is taxed in customs so I ended up paying 32 euros plus because the mailman didn't have change I ended up actually paying 40 euros because I can't get my um order without paying for customs but they can get my money and not give me change oh well i just wanted the box so much that i ended up uh, you know and mind you it's really hard for me to even buy this box so paying 40 dollars for cost euros actually dollars would be much less well, let me change my address uh, cover it so you can see I paid 32 euros here in customs unbelievable and here they taxed um, and even though in the package they have that the value is $15 um, customs still charged me for one third of the value of uh, what I paid, even if in the invoice it said donation. So they're really greedy. But I'll probably talk to their customer support and try to see if next month we can do things differently. It's not their fault, it's the fault of Portugal because I know lots of countries that get their boxes without needing to go through customs and this one did so this is what it looks like and I'm covering my address um, it has their logo on it and um, they're really neatly packaged it's a little dented I have to pay a lot of money to get it out of customs and it's damaged but love how long and I probably should explain a bit of what they are now. Let me get my scissors. Ironically, I had just posted on Twitter a video from them because I was watching uh, their videos on YouTube, you know, in, in, in anticipation because I've been waiting um, long for my box. Um, and uh, I just had scissors in my hand. What did I do with them? Okay, so I must be sitting on them or something. Um, but I was in anticipation and so I was watching videos and uh, the mailman comes. Um, I'll just use this. But it's really, really bad that I have to pay so much in customs. They shouldn't be that, um, you know, uh, but 
the thing is, and and they damage the box. Luckily, Lev Howlam packages their things really well, and uh, I remember years ago. I don't know when it was. BDS activists. I like to call them slacktivists because really, real activists fight against injustices, they don't per perpetrate them. Uh, so, they had their, sorry, uh, boxes being damaged by activists who opposed uh, Israel for the simple fact that it is the Jewish land. And so their boxes were coming in really damaged and um, people couldn't help. It wasn't because they didn't package things well, because they did. I saw pictures of boxes literally completely destroyed. Like, you know how when cars crash, they get completely squashed? That's how I was seeing pictures of Lev Howland boxes. Arutsheva made a few articles on that. And so, um, they do package their things really well. Another reason to support them is because it's a way to fight BDS. So, I'm seeing the first thing, um, which is a little pamphlet. It says, oh, and <laughs> the funny thing, um, I was watching videos, and I'm seeing lots of different boxes, so I think... Either they're getting different months at different times, or the boxes are coming in at, uh, they have different, um, packs. I'm really hoping that I still am able to get the one with prayer books, because I don't have prayer books, and it's really expensive to order them from, uh, art scroll and not because the books are expensive per se but just for shipping I have to pay twice the amount of the value of the books and again I'm I'm broke I really just ordered this box because I want to help people and the fine people at customs thought it was a good idea to steal more money from me uh, but, oh well, so, this is a little um, welcome message. Shalom and welcome to the Lev Haolam family. In the name of all our, our men of... Okay, sorry. There are things popping up on my computer. And I want to use my phone to record videos because the camera is better. But at the moment it has low battery, so... This one has go has to go with the computer webcam. Um, uh, so, in the name of our, all our manufacturers from Judea, Samaria, Jordan Valley, Golan Heights, and places in the outlying areas of the land of Israel, we thank you for your help and contribution in the fight against BDS organizations and their like. May God bless you. By the by way of selecting and presenting these products, we wish to tell you the story of this land and the people involved in the effort for its settlement and development. Each month you will experience the tastes of the land that flows with milk and honey. You will enjoy natural cosmetics extracted from the plants whose roots are nourished in the soil of the land of Israel. Also, we choose a variety of works from local artists that seek to bring the ancient stories of the Bible back to life through their artistry in the spirit of the Holy Land. Altogether, these generate tremendous support and help to forge, forge a springboard for dozens of small, medium-sized and medium-sized businesses that are struggling for their very existence in a world full of hostility and opposition. Despite all that, they do not lose faith and are committed to continuing to create, to create high quality products. Again, 
thanks you for joining us. We welcome you to a multi-sensory journey of tastes and fragrances and the people that are dedicated to strengthening and develop to the strengthening and development of the land of Israel. I'm sorry, I'm really stumbling on words. And because I had the customs declaration, I knew quite what a few items were, so I actually have uh, things next to me prepared. Um, I don't have olive oil here, here though, but yeah. So the first item that I see is gar garlic salt with pepper from the Dead Sea and I can see that these this item alone will is likely valued at around six to eight euros. Um so you can see you get the value that you invest in and you're helping Jewish families fight anti Semitism and the boycott of Israel. The next one, and I'm really excited about this one. Actually, I um, get dates every time I go shopping. I also get, uh, these are the Tunisian ones, very dry, and they're mixed with glucose. And uh, I get the Israeli ones. They're really expensive, but it's my way of supporting Israel. I only get the other ones because my mom um, loves dates too and she eats a lot of them so I get as many of these as I can and then I get one of the cheap ones. Those are uh, one euro, these are six euros each and I wanted to have them here to compare um, to the dates that came here. Um, so this is also made in Israel made not grown in Israel that's more accurate and they're amazing they're the best dates I ever had clearly you should only buy Israeli dates they're the best you can have so this pack is the Deglet Nord date and again I'm going to read the, the, the things because I really want to um, encompass the family aspect of it. I think there should be a booklet somewhere. Uh, so Deglet Noor is also known as Royal Date or the Queen of All Dates. This prestigious species is elongated with a soft texture. When ripened, its color ranges from light honey to dark brown. The composition of the sugar in it creates a unique flavor reminiscent of honey and distinguishes it from the rest of the dates. It's rich in nutritional fiber, iron, and high-quality antioxidants. It is all natural with no preservatives or additives. Tamar. Oh, gosh, this one is great. Because in Portuguese, we also say tamara, which comes either from Hebrew or Arabic, depending on the region. I think in my city, it particularly comes from Sephardic Jews. Actually, the name of the city, Tamar, derives from Hebrew. Because we are Sephardic here, even though most are Christian now, we are a Sephardic city and our name derives precisely from the word for date or sweet. So that's a, that's a nice thing. It's, it's, um, I, my city is named after dates in Hebrew, even though I'm in Portugal. Um, sorry for the tangent here. Uh, where was I? was somewhere that said tamar. Yeah. Tamar date is the fruit of the palm tree family, which can also provide for many other uses, such as the leaves from which the roof as of a hut is built, the fruit for preparing fine wine, and the trunks for building and roofing. In seven kinds of fruit, the land of Israel was praised. Deuteronomy chapter... I think it's the volume in, 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 in Hebrew... 8, 7, 10. For the Lord thy God bringeth thee into a good land, a land of brooks of water, of fountains, and depths that bring out valleys and hills, a land of wheat, barley, and vines, and fig trees, and pomegranates, a land of oil, olive, and honey, a land wherein thou shalt eat bread without scarceness. Thou shalt not lack anything in it, a land whose stones are iron, and out of whose hills thou mayst dig brass. When thou hast 
eaten and art full, then thou shalt bless the Lord thy God for the good land which he hath given thee. I really don't... Um, the thing uh, with Bible translations is many are still following the King James uh, style. And I, I like that a lot of Hebrew publishers are drifting away from it and doing their own thing, their own Jewish thing. But it's still hard for me to read this old English kind. Not old English, middle English. Not early modern English kind of writing. The date palm, or tamar in Hebrew, was one of the earliest fruit trees in Israel and vital to the economy of the region. In today's Israel, date groves are grown as commercial crop for local use and export along the Syrian African fault from the Kinneret Valley, Kinneret, Kinneret Valley to the north down to southern Arava. So let's open it. And it comes, I probably shouldn't open them because I know I'll probably eat them, but I want to compare them to the other Israeli dates that I have. And I should get probably, I had scissors, but I don't, I can't find them. Ugh. It's really well packed though. So these are lovely. They're small ones, probably more like the other ones, more like the Tunisian dates, but they're great. Oh, and this smells so, smells like caramel, smells really well, with a hint of alcohol. So I'm going to try these, and These are delicious. They're definitely better than the Tunisian dates, and they're different but equally as good as the um, Medjool dates that I am getting. These are great. And I probably, I want to eat it, but I don't want to be showing on camera. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Okay, so the next, next thing we have is a Yada Pure Honey Skincare Anti-Aging anti Series, which has a revitalizing antioxidant eye cream and a nourishing, moisturizing, mo moisturizing um, uh, face cream. Again, all of this is organic and artisanal, and I'm not going to try and read the Hebrew because... I still have a tr some trouble to read the vowels without the vowel letters, the vowel points, so again I'm going to read this and I'll probably make a video on individual items, I mean any excuse to promote them is good. So first I'm going to show this and the packaging is quite, quite luxurious if you think that this is um, an, a product that is made by families, small families, and they have an excellent presentation and um, good products. I mean, lots of YouTubers unbox boxes full of very well-known brands just for views, but this, this is where the value is at. This is families making a living and making things out of natural things they have around. This is the, the kind of businesses you want to support. Family businesses. Um, people who, you know, work to help people in need and victims of discrimination and anti-Semitism. So I really, really support this box and I really hope to be able to get more and so yeah so honey cosmetics uh, when nature and science come together you'll be surprised to discover that pure natural honey is one of the most ancient healing and beauty enhancement enhancement products in the world it served as an inseparable part of the beauty care routine 
of the women of nobility since the dawn of history. What's the secret magic of honey? Honey combines the most important elements for your skin. Rich in moisture, it nourishes and purifies the skin. Contains antioxidants, aids in delaying skin aging processes. Antibacterial, cleanses the skin and prevents infections. And I think I'm not going to read all of it, but it has a lot of anti-aging properties. And, and it's val... Um, it is... Um, it lasts eight months after opening. It wasn't tested on animals. It's paraben-free. All skin types, 100% natural and sustainable. It has the ingredients and... Um, it's from the the honey comes from the Negohot bee farm in southern Hebron with uh, the bee farm was established by Baruch and Shimrit Fuchtwanger in 2006 out of a deep belief that connecting to our land begins first with developing its agriculture raised as a beekeeper's son Baruch is carrying on the family tradition of producing 100% pure, top-quality, award-winning Israeli honey. The anti-aging series before you is part of the line of products based on pure raw honey, which includes natural cosmetics, meat, and honey beer. Each of our products faithfully expresses the unique and ancient and natural qualities of honey. So, if you find this brand, really support them because it's a good um, way of supporting people and it's natural. Let me just pump a bit to try. I'm not a beauty guru, so I'm not going to use a whole lot because... Oh, and it's not tacky. It's really... Oh, such a nice smell. It smells like Alpha Zima, which is kind of a lavender. Oh, smells delicious. Must have some aloe vera in it, too. Oh, smells delightful. Smells a lot like lavender. So, next we have honey. Smartly packed to avoid any leakage. Because, actually, I have honey. And it's leaking, even, even though it's still sealed. And you can see, these are local bee. Um bees and it's leaking even though the seal is still isn't broken i always support local farmers and natural things so i definitely am delighted to see this and you can see it's real real honey um the <laughs> i'm sorry i know i go on a lot of tangents but the way to ha you have to know that it's real honey it's you, you get a lot of cheap, cheap stuff um, when you go buy honey. Some mix it with um, syrup and sugar. And um, the way you can tell it's real uh, honey, it's, it starts to congeal or freeze. You can see it's starting to uh, freeze at, at the bottom. I shouldn't. Okay, so it's sealed. I'll, I probably will not take the seal off before I start using it. But you can see here, you see the white part here? This is a good sign that it's 100% pure honey. And this is what you should like when you get honey. If it's all syrupy and doesn't freeze, I don't know the exact English term, it's not real honey. So as you can see, Lev Haolam and their families give you natural products and real products. So 100% uh, pure honey from Benny Moshowitz and Dreamia. Uh, gosh, it's so artisanal and it's kosher for Passover. It has the kosher certification, which is nice to know. This honey is brought to you with love directly from the land of milk and honey, crafted under the careful supervision of Benny Moshowitz 
an expert honey producer working in the Yati region for the past five decades. It embodies the sweet taste of local traditions, family heritage, and gratitude. And I'm sorry if I don't pronounce names correctly, but yeah. Next up, we have a large bottle of olive oil. Oh, and that's what got damaged from the careless uh, mail. Um, um, yeah, they got 40 euros and they still managed to damage my bottle of olive oil. Oh well. So karma olive oil. Our olive oil is produced from the fine olives that grow in the Judean desert between the Dead Sea and Jerusalem. Uh, then uh, it won the Best Israeli Boutique Brand Award in 2018. Um, then it says the Carmel Olive Press is situated overlooking the olive groves between the Jordan Valley and Jerusalem. Just as our forefather Avram greeted his guests with love and devotion, we grow our olives and produce our oil with love and devotion. It's certified kosher and uh, it's a hundred percent extra virgin olive oil and it has the kosher certification. Now and again, um, does it have easy opening? Yes it does. I probably shouldn't open this because it's dented and I'll probably... Okay, I broke it. I broke the easy seal opening I just wanted to try it because I, I actually we produce olive oil and I'm actually kind of an expert in olive oil and I just wanted to taste it I'll probably when I get this open I I will make a video expressing how good it is because it's likely good honey olive oil Okay, just like honey, olive oil is very easy to spot if it's fake or if, or if they mixed any oil in it. Um, in Portugal, for instance, any commercial olive oil, uh, extra virgin olive oil, still has a little bit of oil added to it, just so as to not congeal. And this is a good way to know if it's good olive oil or if it's fake or if it has... Um, oil mixed in it is that olive oil and I probably should have uh, because I, we have fresh olive oil that we made this year um, the thing with olive oil is when it's pure virgin olive oil it freezes just like honey it will uh, congeal and this container doesn't allow to do this but if you want to know if your olive oil is, is real, you just have to put it in the freezer, not even in the freezer, in your fridge for a couple hours. If it turns completely white and um, solid, it's real olive oil. If not, you were fooled by someone selling you something that isn't real olive oil. But considering you can see slats, um signs of the honey starting to uh, congeal. You can see it's 100% pure honey and for sure this is 100% pure olive oil but extra virgin olive oil but I'm not able to open it. It broke so I'll have to find a way to open it. Um, oh gosh I sm still smell it has to have lavender in it. Lavender oil, okay. That's the smell. Next we have, and this is delightful, I saw videos of this one. Handmade pottery. This is a container for your olive oil. Nicely wrapped and after seeing what the mailman did to my box. I'm glad it is so neatly packed. Hand painted. This is absolutely lovely. And a tiny opening. 
you have the artisan signature and this is a pot for your olive oil which is a nice duo um, I also saw on their website they have little dishes and other things which is really lovely uh, okay so Batya is the artisan and it says here when we built our pottery studio on a barren hilltop in the beautiful rolling hills in the heart of the biblical Israel it seemed to be against all odds but slowly one at a time I made a pot then a bowl then a cup put my faith and yearning into it and offered it the, the world for taking this is the eternal story of the Jewish people and the blessing of our land I am inspired by the life and natural beauty around us and I want my work to say here we are, the Jewish people, returning to our homeland. We are here to stay. The land is beautiful and inviting, waiting to share its blessings. These high-fired ceramic olive oil bottles were carefully crafted and signified the miracle of the olive oil in the story of Hanukkah, which is still very much alive today. Our hope in the land and in every Day miracles is being experienced right here in our days. Dishwasher safe, non toxic, made with love in the heartland. Badia Erdenstein, mother of six, lives with her husband Baruch and children in the hilltops of above Itamar, planting trees, gardening, and crea creating ceramic Judaica and kitchenware, which I which inspired. The thing about Itamar is a couple of weeks ago there were um, Palestinian um, terrorists attacking uh, Jews during the Holiv harvest. Of course they uh, say it's uh, uh, the other way around but they were attacking Jews in their uh, homeland. Uh, so uh, kosher contains that seed. So this is the toothpaste. I think there's one item missing. Uh, they say they had a keychain and there's no keychain. Maybe that's missing. Uh, okay. Okay, it tastes just like a little salty toothpaste. It's natural and um, some people cannot take uh, um, fluoride. So this is natural and doesn't have fluoride. Still, cle still cleans your teeth, so it's great. And you have the little leaflet, Aleph Halam 2020. Um, it talks about Hebron uh, in the Cave of Patriarchs. Hebron is still under Arab occupation after they uh, really destroyed everything. Uh, and um, expel Jews from them. You can see in Hebron, Stars of David, menorahs. You have the little places with the mezuzahs in the doorsteps, in the, the door entrances. Those used to be Jewish homes. And uh, they say that Jews are occupying well. Then why are there mezuzahs in houses where Arabs are living if they aren't Jewish houses? They are the ones occupying the land. So they really explain um, uh, the people behind the articles. Uh, they have two uh, recipes, roasted potatoes with rosemary. Actually, it's very similar to a recipe that I do. Honey glazed salmon. And... Uh, yeah, then it, it explains the 
it gives you a little insight into all the producers. Maybe someday I'll read this on a video. Now the invoice it said it contained a, a little keychain. Maybe it's just a misunderstanding. Um, so that's it. Uh, I hope you liked the video. Shabbat Shalom. And I'm going to try and upload this uh, right away. And bye. And um, I think I, I don't know. I think it's a mistake because I think I saw this box unboxed and uh, I don't know. It has, yeah. I think it, it's everything. The box is full. I think it was just a mistake in the invoice. Anyway, uh, <laughs> Shabbat Shalom. I hope you like this video. And uh, I'll see you next time. And I'm sure I'm going to be making videos about certain individual items. But that's it for today. Bye. Oh, don't forget to get your own Live Halloween box. It's really worth it. You can see all of this is well worth the money. I think it's even above the the price you pay for it. It's well above. I mean, only can literally go for over eight dollars. Just the honey, the olive oil, and uh, the dates. All that already pays for the box. These cosmetic items literally will probably retail for $20 or something like that. Even above that, depending on the, the area. So you get your money's worth and you're helping Jewish families in need. So really support Lev Ahalan. And uh, I think on YouTube now you need to disclose it's not sponsored. I paid for my own box and I paid customs for it. So... I'm recommending it, um, and I wish I could buy it more often. I'll definitely try to sort a way to avoid it having problems through customs like this. And bye, see you next time.